Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. And I have finally mastered the art of bottom fishing in this game. Once I've figured out how things work and what tools you need to use. And guys, we are going to go to an excellent spot, this new St. Zeno's Lakes that I had showed you previously. And we're going to be fishing for some big, big fish here. We've got mirror carp and crucian carp and we've got some huge pike and even some p pretty decent sized bream out of here. And I'm hoping for a really big channel catfish. But anyway guys, let's go ahead and get this started and we'll go and see what we can catch. Alright guys, we are here in... This is St. Zeno's Lakes, and this place is an excellent place for a variety of different species. But we're going to take a look here at this map. As you can see, we are at this lake right here. There are four of them. And the last time I came to this lake, there were a butt ton of fish just off the shore right here. Well, let me check the... Yep, there's still quite a few, but it looks like there's a lot more over on this end. All right. Now what we're going to do guys, let me show you the situation here. Okay, for bottom fishing, you must have a feeder set up for your for your pole. These I've got two of these set up. Now you don't have to put feeder bait in them, you just have to have them there. I'm actually probably going to go ahead and get some feeder bait. I've used up all the feeder bait that I've got. But we're going to see what we can get that the mirror carp like, as well as a channel cat. I kind of like to go with a something a little more across the board. So this this one right here looks like it's pretty good. We'll buy a few of those. That only gets a certain species. That's pretty much everything, isn't it? That's just black crappie, mirror carp. This is pretty much everything in here. We're going to buy some of this too. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead on this one because I've got two corn on it. Since I'm obviously going after carp, I'm going to put one of these on here and equip it there. Another thing is right here, I'm going to be using, since I'm going after catfish primarily, we're going to see if we can't get this equipped. Alright, that should take care of it. Now you can have up to five rods. And you can operate them all while you're fishing. Now I haven't got but two at the moment, and I, I will eventually get to five, but it's going to take... A lot of fishing to earn the money to get that happen. So we're going to be doing a lot of fishing though. The other thing that we want to have on here. we got the feeder bait. The rod pod. Now a rod pod is basically a device that allows you to put your pole and have multiple rods at at one time. Now you've got this cheaper one. You've got this one here where you can still only use one rod, but it's a little bit better. Now this is the one I have, and the reason I've got it is because I could put it on a pier. And eventually I want to go over to the, um, oh, that other one with the largemouth bass, because there's nothing but piers there. And eventually you can advance to this level where you can have up to three rods on there. So if you have this one and this one, 
you can have all five rods out at one time. But as you can see, it's 855 so it's a little pricey. We're going to have to get a little bit of money to get to there. And I've got your basic bite indicators. These electronic ones are nice, but honestly, I prefer these. These are what I've always used my entire life. So we're just going to go with those. But anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get doing some fishing. All right, resume. All right. Now, what you do first, guys, let me back up a little bit. You put down your rod pod. Now, you places your rod pod. And there you go. Remember, guys, you if you want to leave and go to someplace else, you have to pick it back up. Y picks it up. Don't forget your rod pod. That'd be, that'd be a bad thing. <laughs> Somebody else will get it. But anyway, what we're going to do here is we are going to cast this first one out. They're not real far out, so I'm just going to keep it there. And to place it in the rod pod, you hit a U. And there you go. You don't have to close the bale or anything like that. You just have to set it down. Now, that might be something that may change in the future. But for now, you don't have to do that. Now, to get to the other rod, you're going to have to go back into the menu. As you can see, this one says it's on the rod pod. Then you go to this and say, use this set. Resume. Whoops. Now, on this one, I've got... Hunk, a hunk of meat, hunk of fish meat or something. And we're going to throw that out there. This one I want to try to get a channel cat with. Pike will go for this too, so. And then we set it in them. And see, we're already getting a bite off of this one. You just hit E to take it, and then you start fighting them. There are, is no underwater camera for this. This is your just your basic fishing nothing fancy this is as real as it gets guys this is the only difference is there's a few things like I said closing the bale setting up the tension but there we go we got a bream not the biggest bream I've caught in here I caught one it was almost eight pounds not long ago it was a monster but the thing is even though you have to you you know go into the menu to place them once they're in the rod pod it doesn't matter whether you have it in your inventory or not. All you have to do is hit E to take it. I'll show you how to get, get them out in a little bit, but it's not hard. Let me see here. We've got... Let's take that off. What hook do I have on here? I have... That's a moderate size hook. That's not bad. We'll leave it, that, we'll leave it at that. Let's put let's put a P on there. They like peas. And then we just wait. All right, this rod again. Thinking this isn't too big, but I think it's a bream. Oh no, he might be decent size. Oh wow, see guys, there you go. That is a nice bream. Seventy-nine dollars, eight point seven three pounds. That is a pretty fish. In fact, I'm getting a picture of him because he's just that pretty. All right, we're gonna throw this one out again. And I think what we're going to do is we're going to wait here for a little bit, see if we get another one. And then I think we're going to go to one of the other lakes. Because I'd like to see if we can't get a pike. I got a pretty decent one. 
the last time I played this he was about seven or almost eight kilograms so he was a good sized pike and I caught a really big there we go now that rod's going okay caught a really good size mirror carp okay this guy's not bad let's see what he is here guys yeah I'm glad they took the camera view off of the bottom fishing because while it's cool on the other style this is just much better They need to keep it keep it real, keep it as real as possible. I think we might have us another bream here. Damn, some big old bream in here, guys. Check it out. Wasn't as big as the last one, but let me show you what I mean about the rod situation. If I want to pick up this rod, all I have to do is hit E. Now it's in my hand. Hit Q to pull the line in quickly and now uh, we're ready to go but don't forget your rod pod <laughs> don't do it but anyway we're gonna come over here and see what we can catch on this side of things I think might be a dock over here I'm not sure well, there's two little lakes here Let me see. Where shall we go? What shall we do? Aha! There is the dock. Okay. We are going to come over here and fish off the dock. Well, providing we can fit between the trees. And I might do a little bit of fishing over there in the stream too, just because it looks like it would be kind of fun. But anyway, here we'll be able to see how the rod pod works on a pier or dock. So let's place it. There we go. Now see, the other two couldn't do that. And I was... I wanted to spend the money so that I could get the decent one. But first, let's see where these guys are. There's not anything in front of me directly, but there's some over there, and there's some over there. So let's toss this out. Place it. Use this set. Ooh, I'm out of bait. Uh, let's go with a worm this time. Worms a nice universal bait. Most things like it, so we'll try it. There we go. Now, I'm not sure what I'm going to do if the other one goes off, too, so I guess I'll just have to do them one at a time. Now, these are fairly heavy rods. They should work very well for this environment. Now, the next lake, I really am not sure. There we go. We got our channel catfish. Not, the, not a monster, but not bad. $37. I bet you anything that's what's in this lake for the most part. It's probably why I can't see them. They're all on the bottom. Alright. But yeah, guys, this is the type of fishing I like to do. I get people telling me, well, you're doing that wrong because... You're fishing for the bass, blah, 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 blah. And the truth to be known, guys, I don't fish for bass very much. I'm not saying I don't like to fish for them, but that's not what I grew up fishing for. My dad and I, we fished for channel catfish. We spent many, many a day, many a summer day, fishing for catfish. 
And if we weren't fishing for catfish, we were pan, panfish fishing or whatever you want to call it. It's just a more relaxing atmosphere. Ah, nice little perch. Alright, let's see if we can't... Let's try it over here this time, just see. Now, I will tell you, you cannot cross the line. I mean, I can't... As you can see, they're not touching, but if I try to throw where the line is, it will say you hit an obstacle. So if it keeps telling you that, that's what you're doing. You're throwing it too close to the line on your other pole. That's what we call crisscrossing. <laughs> yeah, I think after this we might move on to one of the other lakes. I want to see if I can find some mirror carp. I haven't seen any yet. really like to get one so it looks like we got this one I don't think we got us a mirror car but we got us something pretty nice let me see here can't really it might be a kit it's a chub all right nice little chub All right, let's go ahead and get this rod, pick up our feeder, or rod pod. I think I still had the thing in the water. <laughs> Durr. Okay, this is the other side. Alright, this is the little stream that comes through here. I'm going to take a look at it here. There are fish in here, but they look kind of small. Eh. I want a mirror carp, guys. The only problem is, I'm not sure... Okay, yeah, I'm on the right... I'm on the right track. Let me see if there's anything on this side. Usually they're closer to shore. Yeah, I want to find some place with a lot of fish. And I think this is the one I was fishing at before. That I was catching pike and mirror carp at. Yeah, I believe I went over here. Other side of these two trees. Yeah, that looks good. Let me take one look, quick look here. Yep, this is it. This is it. All right. Place a rod pod. Throw our line out. Might help if I put bait on it. <laughs> yeah, you run out of bait pretty fast. It automatically loads up your bait. Well, no, it says there's bait on it. No, I couldn't see it. I don't know. Well, let me go ahead and buy some more of this. Which corn do I have? Ah, that's why. I am going to buy some more peas. And then we're going to resume. There we go. We were out of corn. Alright, let's put her down. Now this one has a worm on it, so... Nice thing about the worms... Actually, I might bring it in a little closer. Most of your species go for the worms. OK, 
kind of a nice all-around bait sometimes it doesn't hurt to put a couple of different types on there too because they might spark the interest of a fish that's interested in one thing here all right we got this little fella I don't think he's whoops I don't think he's very big It is taking me a while to get him in, though. Okay, now that is a nice size crucian carp, honestly. Yeah, usually they're little bitty things. He's 3.13 pounds. Yeah, I love doing this, and I love doing it real life. You just sit back, wait for the jingle. You can sit there and talk with your buddy, have a beer, and just veg. Best way to fish. All right, let's take a look here. Just a quick glance. Hmm. Maybe. How about over here? Don't think we've been to this one. No, we haven't been to this one. Ah, there we go. Yep, this is it, guys. I think I see Pike out there, too. So the, what that means is we need to switch baits. And which one do I have on here right now? I have, okay, it's the first one. Got peas, but I think I'm going to put some of this on here. Whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I forgot to put my rod pod down. Jeez. What the hell's wrong with me? There we go. And instead of that, I'm going to put... Some corn. I'm going to put a different hook on there, too. I'm going to put this hook. Now I can have both of them on there. Yeah, the fish in there look pretty big. So... Shouldn't have a problem getting them with that hook. Whoa, okay, this one's a big fish. We might have finally got us a real fish here, guys. I think we might have gotten us a real fish. He is not coming along too willingly either. Yep, we got us a pike. There we go. Nice. Very nice. 9.87 pounds. $90. That, my friends, is a real fish. Wish I could get a decent snap of him. You 
Anytime that happens, I always want to go one more time. <laughs> well, we got another second. It's like once the sun came out, things started to improve a little bit. There we go. Sorry about my dog. He's a little high. Whoa, okay. A little high strung. Snoopy hush. I don't know what it is you're hearing, but I think we got us another real fish here, guys. And my wife is calling me of all times. There we go, another one, guys. Not bad at all. All right. Couple of good perch. Perch. Not perch. All right, a couple of good pike. Not a bad way to end this. But I think it's about time to end it here, guys. I think I'm going to see if I can get one more. <laughs> and I'll keep saying that. Just one more. But I honestly think I'm going to try to get one more. And then so go ahead and we'll... We'll try it again. But we didn't get our... We didn't get our mirror carp, guys. So... We did get a pike. We just didn't get our mirror carp. It looks like there's a lot of pike out there, so we might get another one. We'll see. There we go. Yeah, I'm afraid this is... Whoa, okay. Chill out, little... Chill out, fish. I think we got us another pike. He is certainly fighting us. Alright, yeah, it's a pike. Check it out. Very nice. Not the biggest one, but still, nice way to end this. Nice way to end this. Alright, let me see if I can't get a better picture. Cause... Alright. Well, let's go ahead and get our other rod here. Pick up our rod pod, and we are going to call this a fishing day for now. Anyway, guys, I want to go back to the trophy area. I want to show you... That I did catch a really big mirror carp. So hold on guys. I will be right back. Alright guys. We're here in the trophy room. And I want you to see this sucker. This is a big fish. There he is guys. 33.81 pounds. Nice huh? That's what I was trying to get. But for some reason I just couldn't find him today. I don't know what the deal was. And here's a grass carp I caught in the same lakes. 18.50 pounds. And here is that monster bream. Oh, wow. His mouth's moving. <laughs> oh, it's creepy. Well, the rest of them are doing it, just him. Oh, I've got to get a picture of that. That is awesome.
I don't think that's supposed to happen. <laughs> yeah, I've definitely got to work on the striped bass. Now, he's still a good size, 15.51, but I want to get a little bit bigger one. I haven't been on. Here's that sturgeon that I caught at 21.6. So, so far, the carp is the biggest. But here's that monster pike. 14.13. Now that's a nice one. Let's see if I caught anything else new. I think, yep, 6.58 pound channel cat. Not bad. I need to get one a little bit bigger than that. That's not a bad whitefish, but I know they come bigger. Largemouth bass, I think we can get better than that too. But yeah, we've got quite a few trophies here, but we still got more to get. But yeah, the mirror carp that I have is the biggest fish. My understanding is they come a lot bigger than that. Well anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another episode of Ultimate Fishing Simulator. So until then, his mouth's still moving. Until then, always remember, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I will see you later. Bye-bye.